Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I saw these in uh, in Target the other day, these mini fashion balls, and I just couldn't resist myself. They are so cute. Um, usually I try to avoid uh, mystery boxes and stuff because I hate getting repeats and it's really frustrating and also disappointing. So this one I'm just kind of showing you what I got, but I actually show these again later. Hope, hopefully you don't mind. This is just like the initial opening. Um, this stuff is really cute. I'm not a huge fan of like the dogs that come with it. I wish it was just like more mini fashion accessories. You know what I mean? But yeah, opening these balls is a pain. Um, I don't mind the, uh, the paper bags. I mean, that's smart. And then what's cool is they actually put tissue paper in the mini bags and you know it helps make sure that the bags stay uh, fluffed up and stuff super cute so i hope you don't mind i am not opening up, opening up the rest of those baubles on camera because they are the hugest pain in the ass ever i swear to god like the one i opened on camera was the easiest one to open um the other three horrible simply horrible so instead i'm just going to show you what I got, and I know it's not as satisfying as me opening up them on camera, but what are you gonna do? It's, it's the way she goes, okay? So we're gonna start with the tiniest things. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I got this little mascara. Ah, oh, look at that. And then you just pull it out. It's so, like, uh, detailed. Like, I've never bought mini brand stuff before, and I'm blown away. So, I also got um, this tube of lipstick. It'd be cool if they made it look like the iconic like Revlon lipstick, but this is just like generic. I kind of don't like that it's transparent. It doesn't seem like it relates to any sort of brand. It's just, it looks like something slightly inappropriate. So, we also got a, uh, oops, things are rolling all over the dang place. Okay. We've got a tiny phone, and this is the first, like, doll-sized phone I've gotten. Um, I've never bought a Rainbow High doll that has included a phone or anything, so. It's a cute little phone. It's, it doesn't have any paint on the back, but that's fine. It's just super cute. And then it has Instagram. Look at that detail. My goodness. Like, it's not pixelated at all. How do they do it? Such such great printing abilities. I think this is my favorite tiny thing. It's like a thing of mints. How adorable. There's kind of like a static in it, so like when you jiggle it about, like it looks like it's levitating, but I think it's just static electricity making things hover in the air. But yeah, we got little Tic Tacs slash mints. Orange, I wish it would have been like mint, but that's okay. And then we just got a uh, a blush palette. Cute, Um, I have a bunch of like Bratz makeup stuff, but like I, I don't have play sets or anything, so I never use it. Use like any of like, the nail polish things or anything. Like these are all things they can't really hold. And they can't even really hold the phone. This is cute. It's like a mini journal. I might have them like, like one of the dolls put it in their bag or something. And it actually has like lined paper inside. Like, look at that. I could write little, I wish, um, I wish this paper was like finer lined, like tiny, like finer ruled, I mean. So it was a little bit more accurate. Yeah, they got a little moleskin book and then a magazine of tiny things. Look at that. At first I thought this was like something they all would come with, but it's just a, uh, a little bonus magazine and I'm glad I didn't get rid of it because I was almost going to. Next up is 
the accessories. So I got this bandana. I'm hoping I can like wrap it around a Barbie's head for like a vintage look. I have a black dress this might be able to go with. And the, the purse that came with this is this purse. So I think like this, this, a black dress, and uh, my one of my reproduction Barbies, like the a reproduction OG Barbie, and then like her reproduction black pumps. I think that would look really cool or cute. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll be able to tie it. I might have to use like a rubber band or something. We will see. These were the things I weren't, I wasn't uh, super pumped about. I mean, I don't really need doggies. They're cute. I might sell them or something with the tiny accessories. Like, I don't need tiny little puppies. They don't really go with the vibes of the shit that I have. So, I got them. You see them. Exciting. I got these headphones. Okay. I tested it out and they do fit on Barbies. They don't fit on Monster High dolls. But they do fit on Barbies. I wish it wasn't like this green. It looks kind of like dragon skin on the back with like little nubs. It's okay. I think it's fun to have headphones because I don't have a set of headphones. I might paint it black, who knows. I haven't quite decided yet. Like if there was, this was black and then the nubs were like gold, that might be cute. I, we'll see what I decide on doing. I might do that. Um, I have like gold, I mean a uh, black acrylic paint. The paint that I have access to kind of chips. So I might have to go digging because all of my stuff is in storage. And then this hat. This hat also fits on Barbies, but I need to wash it or something because it came with like this brown stuff on it. But I like the gold logo on the back and it matches this purse backpack thing. I, I have mixed feelings about this backpack. It would have been much better if it didn't have these little decals on it. I think they look a little too, like, hokey. There's some scratches, but that's okay. Yeah, so if this backpack didn't have the stickers or whatever, but... Oh! I forgot that you could do things like that. Okay. Let's cinch it tight. And then... Close it, maybe? I may have saved the best for last. There's this purse. And it's kind of orange. I could maybe like convince myself it is like a blonde leather color, but it it's pretty orange. This has pushed me towards getting that Claudine fashion set on Amazon. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. I might get it, but this purse would go good with those outfits because there's a lot of orange um, pops of color in those outfits. So I might, I don't know, we'll see. This is cute, I like the ruffles. And then my favorite thing of all is this pink purse. It comes with a little wallet. Um, they just plop inside. It, there's quite a bit of metal danglies. I might just get, like, take these off. It looks cute on Draculaura. Let me, let me go do that. I'm gonna go get Draculaura real quick, one second. This is how she looks with the purse. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, it's super cute on her. I love it. I'm glad I got these uh, mini fashion balls, but I think my luck has run out. If I get any more, I'm probably going to get a repeat. So I'm off. I'm off the mini fashions until the next series comes out. And I don't think I'm gonna get the first series because I'm not a huge fan of like the purses in that series. So we'll see what the next series brings with it. So yeah, thanks for watching. What was your fa favorite item? Mine was this purse, obviously. But I also like um, 
this pink hat a lot, I'll just have to clean it. But that's okay. I don't mind. It doesn't, it doesn't quite fit, but there. There you go. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.